LeBron James, 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 Man with a great nickname, which I gave you, quite frankly. We got uh, Johnny P, PF rapper, fucking legend, big body. It's the Tiger Woods of rap. What's going That's on, right. baby? Man, I'm just fucking, you know, hitting aces and smashing faces. <laughs> 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 trying to think of like a Tiger Woods thing. Aces I, I, is tennis. I know, I, but as soon as you started saying it, you looked at me like, I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, hitting, like, hitting birdies and smashing, yeah. Girlies? <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> cheating on my wife <laughs> while slicing. <laughs> in the, in cheating the... on my wife and taking lives. How many? How many? How many times did he cheat on us? That one girl he cheated on like twenty-seven oh. times, or something like that. It's, is it doesn't it just count as the one cheat? Oh, okay, maybe I guess. Oh yeah, I, I, be, I uh, bet you they are gonna argue yeah, a few yeah. times. Well, so. if, if how many times did it go in? That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I sort of stopped paying attention after the first bit. I was like. Yeah, it's okay, he's cheated, good dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But what, right. a, what a phenomenal golf player, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's fucking so killing it, though. sport from the, the semen is very good work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That would be his argument. He's like, yo, I play off one, that's my handicap. I only slept with one woman, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> After that, it's a handicap ratio. Don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. So um, Thanks for doing the pod though, because you were meant to, you were meant to be doing the live pod yeah. uh, that got cancelled because of fucking COVID, even though there's no fucking COVID in Perth anyway. Fuck so. Well, that, that looks, looks like more like I farted. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. COVID we positive. Yeah, I know what's up. I know what's up. Um, what do you, what do you, wear? what do you got? Uh, I mean, you've got a few things, you got a few options, a few, few wardrobe few, changes. Gotta, yeah, we can. <laughs> never had so many wardrobe changes on the here. pod. Well, I sent you a photo earlier of like some jerseys, a collection, yeah, yeah. and then. You that's know, a nice we, collection you got there. Though. So we got. Oh, shall I show them? Well, let me see. What's this one? Because I always this thought, I, I, I weirdly thought you were older than me. I thought you were like, grew up a bit in the 90s. Like, I, I grew am. up in, how old are you? I'm 28. I'm 29. Oh, what the fuck? I thought yeah, you were like 20. No, but oh. I thought you were like in your 30s oh. or something. No, Because no, no, you look old, because no, you're a unit. I'm gross, that's all. That's, yeah, it's so, old. It's the, no, but that makes me doesn't work. feel weird. Because I was like, why am I not built like this? Oh, he's probably older than me. He's a man now. But I've, now I've got no excuse for being a oh, pussy. No, right. <laughs> I, was, I was fat when I was younger. And then my outlet was the gym, so uh, here we go, and nice. I'm a personal trainer, so it's, That's true. it's, it's my job. You when put it's down your the job, cake, you pick up the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when you're like, you're like, yeah, just watching heaps of sport and having a drink, I'm like, nice. I'm like, I just do sport and drink water. So yeah. <laughs> same thing, bro. It's the same. Are you, you're, pers- you're a personal trainer. Yeah. You've, you're fucking, you're, you're self-made man. You're doing a lot of things. Obviously, you're, you're a rapper, you're launching that fucking career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a... Um, you're doing the, what is it, disabled work as well? Yeah, dude, I'm a disability carer, um, musician since, well, I've always been a musician, but properly since like 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's like constantly releasing, doing yeah, live shows. Yeah, that, that, like was, that. that was literally deciding in 2015. I heard some shit on the radio and I was like, I can do better than this, I swear. And then I was like, I'll just do it back. And then <laughs> really? Did, did you do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's legit, so good, legit. I love that. And then because I lived in Sydney, uh, linked up with the Bliss and SO boys who were like, I don't know if I've you know. played basketball with one of them. Oh, Bliss. Uh, um, the American one, the white, white yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's my boy. Oh, that's yeah, sick. I was, yeah. his, I was his PT, and then we had another B-ball team in uh, in Sydney with him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole crew, and yeah. Yeah, he, he, he used to wear the fucking hat, like you know, the, the like hat. not snap back, but you know the what yeah, are the, like just the, the regular ones. Yeah, yeah. To rep them, but he he'd shoot actually. To be honest, yeah, yeah he's, he's good, nice. Yeah, he's I, I did. We had a game of one on one. Like when I first realised he really loved basketball, I was like, okay, and I like, I think I beat him by like a point, and I was like. Really? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. fucking nice. But like, I got the height on him and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. The athletic prowess. And that's good. Right now, anyway, the basketball um, IQ. Yeah. Um, just, just tell you that you'll get fantasy points for him. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. going and so hard. Yeah. Dunks, like, yeah. But well, I got something here yeah, just to show the fans at home. Yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. Uh, people might not even remember this for the for the younger fans. Yes. This is an actual CD. Compact disc <laughs> is actually compact the full disc. name. It's not that compact. Uh, you can it's use it as a coaster if you don't like it. <laughs> when you pull it out, it also has the same photo that's on the front. Just that's in case perfect, though. I like that. 
cool That's thing, nice. fun fact about that photo, you can see, see or you can't see, see it on the Look at this, there. old school. Woo! Wicka wicka. Love them, man. Freaking fresh. Um, you can see. People just use a mirror these days. <laughs> yeah. There's a mirror if you don't know what it is. Put coke on and shit. The oh, selfies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, this here, so you can see like a little bit of orange, a little orange fleck. That was because Jimmy Nice, the guy that did the photography for me for it, we were at some like abandoned old like bus port in Sydney yeah. where they ripped up all the turf and we set the whole tar pit on fire. And so there were meant to be flames leaping in front of the thing, oh, but that's yeah. the only like little tiny bit of a flame that ended up in the photo. So I was like breathing in toxic <laughs> dust. It, 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 yeah. Don't worry if you can't see it at all. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, see yeah, it here. Yeah. So there was, there was other ones that didn't make the shoot because I was like my eyes were watering and I was like yeah, crying yeah. and it's like oh, a bit too emotional. That's fucking but, sick. Um, what's this album called? This album's called Attachment Theory. So is this the I, uh, what's this? What album's this one? Two, that's that's it. my first album. Oh, um, I, I dropped an EP in 2017 called Bigger Things yeah. and this was the release for 2019 That's and sick. then uh, I've got a new fairly, I like that probably later in the I'll year. put it behind this as well yeah 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 and so, I'll pop them but um, if you just go Johnny P on um, Spotify and all that two E's uh, just, there you go yeah, John. Yeah. well, well it, yeah it's, it's, it's uh, J-O-H-N-I-E-P-E-E -E. not even t is it double P's really? Is it double P's? No, double E's. Double E's, that's what I'm saying. I P's thought, I thought it was just Johnny P. Oh, that's, that's not true. why. But it was my Xbox Gamer Tag when I was like ah, 15. Ah, that's true. Of course, so yeah. Stuck with it. But true. I had it with like a 3 and an E. Like back in the day. Like, oh, uh, of yeah. course. <laughs> you know, because why not? Johnny P. Fetty Free? Nah, yo, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Johnny. Yeah. It was, well, yo, I had a clan. I had a clan <laughs> on COD 4. Oh, man. Oh, you've been crushed. Did you see that guy, uh, some, some kid, uh, like, you know, um, LeBron's son, Bronny? He was, oh. um, he's like playing his big game, like a little old fucking young yeah, teenager yeah, yeah. now. So he got it, he was talking to some kid and he got LeBron on to yeah, say hello. Yeah, yeah. I saw and the, the kid, kid did a video about mind. it. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, it's the best moment of my life. I think about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, yo, I don't want to fan, boy, but I love you. And it's like, you just started with, I don't want to fan you, but then yeah, I say, I yeah, love yeah, you to yeah. another man. Come on. If you say, but I don't want to fan, boy, you better, <laughs> yeah, you better just be really cool after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. be like, just call it by the wrong name. LeBron? Just a fucking alpha move. <laughs> Harmes, yeah, good man. These yeah. stickers are fire as well. I mean, there's pointless having them because there's no Instagram. There's no way to recreate the face. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally my mate did it as a joke from a photo. And that's so good. I just haven't restocked the actual. No, but that's that my career. Like but anyways, that, yeah. yeah, exactly. Same. You know what I mean? This <laughs> yeah. is, we're not even recording. So <laughs> yeah. I, let me just check, just to make sure. Oh thank God, are we? Oh yeah, we are. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, was worried, I was worried for a second because yeah, I saw yeah. the light go off, and I was like, I'm just gonna like wait until. Oh uh, yeah. It. Uh, no, we're all good. But uh, yeah, so you got the the, the bowls, bowls. Yes. So you, you're same as me. You wouldn't remember Michael Jordan, would you? You know what I mean? No, like, well, so I mean, I, my earliest memories of watching basketball, I was probably like five. So that would have oh, been, like, been like nine, nine seven, nine, yeah. eight. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching Bulls games. Like my, okay. my dad, my dad liked Scotty Pippen for some reason. He, Over like, Jordan. I don't know. He just he always says he used to remember me calling him Scotty Piplin when I was like a kid. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, Scotty Piplin, and then he'd be like, it's not the name, son. That's cute, though. I'm gonna leave your mum in. A <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, but if no. only you knew that, <laughs> yeah, you would have said it properly. <laughs> Save the marriage. Where are you, man? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, but we. I remember watching Bulls games when I was like really young, and and then it sort of stuck with me. And then, of course, like. Growing up in the nineties, as you would know, being very similar age. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you're ninety one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You're ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah. Oh. Um, so both of our, no, both of our years right here. Yeah, yeah I like, like that. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, nice. To the left of the nipple. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then obviously all the clothes that were out at that time, like the hand me downs you get from whatever, would be like Bulls and Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the fucking cool track suits and shit with just like Michael Jordan walking through the town, like fucking crushing buildings and shit. I was like, fuck. Oh yeah, that's you fire. You can't find that shit. Do you ever know? commit to the beret? That's a that's, that's one <laughs> thing that Michael could pull off. Yeah, nobody yeah, else could. Yeah, the beret yeah. in France. I was like, I was just down south. With, um, with a guy that I work with and, and uh, he's gay he brought all of his mates and so they're all like real they're fashion you know like yeah, yeah. I, I always thought I knew what gay fashion was, but I obviously don't. Yeah, yeah. But Assless chaps. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone sends us a photo of a cyclist on yeah. Facebook, and people always say that it looks like me. He's got his ass cut out. And he oh, out. really? Anyways, oh, um, but they they all wear they always wear stuff that like sort of surprises me, and, I, and I'm sort of like, oh, like my my idea when I was younger of like what a gay guy would wear would be like you know super flamboyant, you know, colorful Bright shirts, colors, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all just like low key, whatever. 
but they'll still rock the beret. Ah, like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Michael Jordan. Just so you know, <laughs> so people could tell a guy. That's yeah, yeah, like yeah. their head shit. Yeah. No, it's just, it's like, yeah, my DJ in Sydney would wear one. And I don't know. It's there's tough, some, yeah. There's weird shit as well. Yeah, like, especially if it's Kangol as well. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be black and gay. <laughs> yeah, for that you gotta be sure, pretty, yeah. pretty fucking cool. The, have you seen the hats, though, that are the A frames that don't have the fucking brim? Of a it's literally a snapback Jew hat. Oh, like like what fucking that Sydney guy wore in a. Jew, in Jew in hat's in not the right term either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yamaka. <laughs> <laughs> I let it all that as a sentence about it. I just don't know the word. The white man can't jump. What was his name's wore in that, you mean? Yeah. Or, or he flicked, oh no, he flicked no, the ball. Yeah. This literally has no. But it's no, just like yeah, that. There's a rapper That's I know tough. in Melbourne who wears that. All the time, that's his hat. White dude. Yeah, but yeah. but hey, you can rap his ass. So yeah, shout yeah. out to Soul Bishop. But yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just like name. I'm just like fuck that. Like I don't get it because I wear a hat to literally stop shit in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also fashion, but you know. Yeah, but mainly yeah. Fashion sure, yeah. tries. But exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. We just cut off the rest. Of, cut off the rest. Cut off the caps. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Um, so what, what what do you got with so me? Because a... when you told me we met a comedians versus rappers, yeah. where um, where obviously I'm comedian side, you're on the rap side. I fell in love with you after you slayed me. <laughs> with, I can't remember the line, but it was like it, it was like yeah, yeah, suck on my dick. Then I had to suck on his dick. That's how people become gay. It's not because they want to be gay. It's because they've lost the lap battle. Peer pressure. Every gay person oh. don't never abuse gay people. I mean, don't do it anyway. But never do because that is a gangster rapper yeah, that's yeah, lost yeah, the rap yeah, battle yeah. recently. <laughs> could have been Eminem. Could've yeah, been Eminem. possibly been. still is Eminem. Yeah. Don't, we don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that that was funny. That was sick though. That and then I did get on my knees because I was like, I gotta give it to you. Yeah, I can't remember. I was. Just, I kept rabbiting on, and then you were like, you tried to cut me off or like interject. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. I, I'd said something about like rhymed, I don't know, I think I'd rhymed sick or something. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. I, then you started cutting me off, and I was like, shh, suck on my dick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and it worked so well. Yeah, oh, no, the perfect time. Was like, oh, but then you told me that you went, you went, sure, what jerseys you've got to wear tonight, and then you were like, oh, I couldn't make up my mind, I got so many yeah. of them. But you brought a few, you sent me a few yeah, options, yeah, you yeah. brought a few so options today. I've got, uh, Shout out Two to of them are getting banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought <laughs> this one. I, I purely wanted to get this one because just to fucking way off. Not to fuck with you, but I like it's like Grand Theft Auto sort of like logo. The San Andreas. Shit. And yeah, to be honest, yeah. I would have got the Kawhi one because George is. Oh, that kid's um, fire. The so court, their court, I'm not a fan of the Clippers yeah, court. So yeah. you, even as Clippers fan, you know yeah. you don't like that. Nah, this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anyways, they were meant to be so good, but. Oh, yeah, uh, we've the gone with the classic. Go with the classic. Pinstripe. You wear that to a wedding. That's formal. I as probably fuck. will. Probably <laughs> yeah. will. I want to get the my blue wedding. One. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. jersey. Only, yeah. jersey. I want to get a. Um, That's fine. I want to get a, the, the blue one as well if I can. The blue with the white stripe. Penny on the back or something maybe. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually want to get a freaking. Well, it's funny because Lamelo is playing number two now, right? Which yeah, is yeah, Larry yeah. Johnson's number. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted, I had a Larry Johnson jersey as a kid. I've got it like on the artwork of one of my songs and a bunch of stuff as well. Sick. And now I'm like, Lamelo's sick. He's got my respect. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking of as a wanker, and now oh, I'm he's like, rocking like it for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a beast. So I'm like, I'll get a number two jersey. Hopefully, I can get the the two in the old school design. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like the older design, like uh, the okay. older Aqua one or the the white with the. Right like the pinch, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Light blue, like and that, that's fire. Um, I, I do like the Bull City one though. Yeah, that one's fire yeah. as well. Out of the new ones, well, yeah, the old school ones are the best. I think yeah. my favorite jersey of the new ones is the um, the Nets retro cloud blue with the I think it's like orange or red. The Nets. Oh, it's, like, it's the light blue, oh, but with the red. Do you yeah. Really, I don't know. About I that hate one. it, man. Like I don't know. For me, maybe it's because Katie's wearing it. That's why I, I think, can't yeah, get past yeah. it. But. Irving's pissed me off now, whatever. But I, I think that's cool because I love the old Nets logo. Like I loved them when they were New Jersey Nets. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid and all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, Je yeah, fucking so, hell. Um, this one is pretty Richard cool. Richard Jefferson. This is a <laughs> McGregor. That's a fight. Is this actually a legit, they wore this in games? Like, is this a silly I, edition I think or whatever? it's like a special swing man. Like, this yeah, is a yeah. weird thing. I don't know. The, like, the, they would have wore it for, for some game. It would have been in like that. Possibly at some point. That is sure. fire, though. And everyone was like, oh, that's like, they said about this jersey, and they were all like, they all thought it was going to be like a Kawhi one. And yeah, yeah. Or a Vince Carter or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, he was there for two years or whatever, didn't they? Yeah. And then I was like, no, I'm going to go. And then we got the. Well, this is a Clippers jersey, but it's. From See, the, I do like that one. That's yeah, fire. It's yeah. when they were the Buffalo Braves for like nine years or something. Some shit like that, I don't know. I was reading up on it before, but yeah, and then it well, and That's sick, yeah. Because I got sponsored by a dude that does the jerseys, and he pretty much like 
You're sponsored by the, yeah. You tell me this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sponsored by Conehead Clothing. Shout out to them. I just got to do a quick plug. Yeah. Um, got, type in on the uh, ConeheadClothing.com. Legacy ten in all capital as you get ten percent off. There's a new sick ass Devon Bucket T-shirt as well. Hey. You should get some That's funny ass ones from there. I sent you some for see. doing this. Actually, I saw. I, yeah, I saw the shirts you got. I had the daytime one and shit. That's, yeah, 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 that was That's fine. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, pretty much this guy that I met while I was on tour. I don't know how I met him. Through an Instagram like link up, and then I was in Adelaide. He lived in Adelaide. He's like, Yeah, bro, I'll drop a bunch to your house before your show. So I, I wore jerseys for like a whole tour, yeah, just you know, it's a pretty rap thing to do, yeah, yeah, of course, also yeah, hot as fuck. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. That's why yeah. I wear them because it's like, yeah, 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 like stand up rap, like it's like you wear whatever you want, really, yeah, yeah, yeah like, especially yeah. rappers yeah. are taking it even more ridiculous, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, it's like nice. you can wear whatever you want, so why not be comfortable do and you, shit? Like, do you find you're not like sweaty as in them though? Cause I like I pick a day. My jersey day is very like here and there and everywhere. Oh uh, like, no! Well, you know me. I wear it every day. But, 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 but I do like today. I was like, I'm not putting a Lakers jersey on because we we fucking played shit. Yeah, but yeah, I still yeah, gotta yeah. wear LeBron James. Yeah, and this yeah. is one of my favorites. Yeah, the land yeah, yeah, yeah. is a sick fucking jersey. Cool. But this is a bit tight, so um, this might get a bit sticky. But the, like the old school ones are actually more breathable. Yeah, yeah That's the, the weird thing because it's the holes stuff. and shit. But, um, but yeah, I think that guy bought a factory in China so it's the same factory where they're made he just gets some like yeah, yeah, yeah. off the side well because it's got the logos on, so, so the real yeah. ones don't have the logo yeah, you know yeah, the, yeah. the actual sponsor sponsor yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, could have the same I got a German one in here with uh, I think it's whatever, whatever their logo is I think it's FedEx or something oh shit Ooh. knocking it off here we go almost yeah, dropped my ankle it's definitely uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's, it's the old team, but new player. So yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. the FedEx on. But I mean, yeah. they look fire. They look yeah. fucking all look fire. Yeah. Though, honestly, oh, they do. They do the trick. They so what, what is it? It's, Give them a uh, plug. Zujing, Zujing. So at Z O O J I N G. So that's on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And they do shoes as well. And how much what, without like I mean because obviously you're getting for free, but uh, what are they like forty dollars, forty five? They work out to be like. I think they work out to be fifty ish with so postage. Mm-hmm. Probably excluding postage, but it's okay. still not bad. No, no, I mean, it, I mean, a real one is at one ten, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, if you yeah. get it for sixty, it's still, it's still, it's still cheaper. Yeah. But they, they have like a and massive variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing because I, I wouldn't like I've been given jerseys in the past that are like clearly fake jerseys. Yeah, and yeah. And you sort of like, like you don't really want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, they're all made from like the same sort of. Most of them are made from similar factories, unless you get them from like Bali. Oh, for sure, yeah. Or something, but. And then you got like, fucking Lakers spelled with a P yeah, or whatever yeah. the fuck. Like, <laughs> Lakers. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jordan or something. Michael something. Jordan. Oh, yeah. Just the letters are the wrong way or something. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah I was like, man, you'll never play 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just three. I just forgot. Um, fuck yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll look that up actually myself. Yeah. That's I'll, fucking sick. I want to yeah. make sure he's still doing it because he's gone a little bit quiet. Oh, really? Did you ever release an album? That's why. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking, I was like, I think he's like. How many chairs do you reckon you've got off him now? Oh, like 20. What? Well, because he's just the pair That was in the space of like two weeks, too. Oh, what? I went the fuck? nuts and I just like didn't. Have I mean, if he's offering you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, hey, bro, this one, this one, this one. And then they do shoes as well because I'm pretty sure it's a similar factory. Where they I don't do know shoes. about fake shoes. I don't. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do fake jerseys, but I don't, I don't know. know. If fake. This, this, uh, this is it's the like thing. Like back of the wagon or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't know. That's so true because it's like they're all made in Vietnam anyway. Yeah, like, exactly. These are like you get the you know, specifics, and they just push your fruit to the side these? and sell them off the shelf. You know what I mean? Yeah, these, these. I'm gonna, ta- I'm gonna take my shoe off, guys. What size are you? Fucking hell. Don't smell. Hold your breath. Jesus Christ. Made in Indonesia. Look at this are, fucking thing! Yeah, hold your breath, bro. Right? What the <laughs> fuck? It's bigger than my head, yo. That's crazy. And they say, bro, big size. 16. Big size. I'm, I'm, I'm 11. No, but 16 is crazy. My, um, yeah. my shoe size correlated to my age until I was 16. So when I was like 10, I was size 10. Oh, uh, that's was, crazy. Like, so, yeah. How tall are you? What are you, 6'4? I claim 6'4, but I think I'm 6'3, like something. Oh, I'm 6'1 with the hair. So, so don't worry about it. I'm claiming it hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. You can. You can Get the comb out. Oh, I get it done, baby. I get it done. Well, also you collect um, you collected a. Uh, we were talking about this was what I was fucking loving because um, I feel like in, in England, obviously, like I mean, you grew up here as well, but yeah. it's like we didn't really have. It was more football cards with us growing up because football was the yeah. sport, so I never got into basketball cards yeah, yeah, yeah. or memorabilia until recently. Yeah. But you, you, you made you done good at you sold it. You made it. Uh, I've, got, and all I've, got shit I've, got solid, I've got a solid collection because I, when the last dance came out, I was like, I'm just going to go ham on these. I'm going to buy 
as much shit as I can because everyone started to give a fuck about basketball. And I was yeah. like, hmm. And then you got like guys like Gary Vee that are like pushing, like, cards are going to be the next fucking yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like, I'd always been into like my Pokemon cards. Like, I'd, I'd never, I'd got rid of all the ones I had as a kid. But, yeah, like, yeah. if I could buy some, like, I was like flipping. When I first moved back to Perth, I made all my money off Marketplace. What, really? Yeah, I literally was like, would buy like a game, like a Pokemon uh, red cartridge, yeah. for 20 bucks, and then sell it for 50. And then I'd like, yeah, I just. I, I, like, why? <laughs> like, still on, you'd stay on back on Marketplace? Really? Yeah. Gum, yeah. Gumtree Marketplace or yeah. through Mates, but yeah. Oh, so, so, so you literally, and then, and then you came across the basketball. And then, I, and then I, I, because I had sold all my old cards, because I, I went through it, and I had cards from when I was like 10. Ooh. And I had like, I had a heap of Jordans, I had a, like full collections of like Fleur and Metallic and Upper yeah. Deck and blah blah blah. And I was like, these would be worth a fortune. And then I Googled it and they're worth like fuck all. Like, like uh, none really? of the only cards that are worth something are like from the oldest generations are pretty much Jordans. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it, and it's specific card yeah, brand specific companies cards, as well, and like the Fanatics numbers, or whatever. And stuff, then you gotta yeah. get them graded as well. So and you gotta keep mingled condition as well, you know. You literally yeah. gotta like double sleeve them, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. handle them with gloves and shit. And I haven't really gone that far. <laughs> with gloves? <laughs> legit, legit. That's great. When you gotta I, OJ on them? Well, when, <laughs> I, yeah. when, I, when I was buying them though, like the guys would deliver them like double bagged. Yeah. Like, like in like a hard sleeve with like a soft sleeve. Oh, okay, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I spent like, fuck. I probably didn't even spend that much. I probably spent like, maybe I spent like 500 bucks in like, the space of a couple of months. But some of the cards that I bought, and then like, cause I was buying cards, Esso from this and Esso, yeah. he's a massive basketball card fan. And oh, like, yeah. I've got these, I've got that. He's actually just started his own page as well. I should give him a shout. I think it's Goats Basketball, Goats Trading Cards, I think. Oh fuck, that's a great name, started, yo. You got that one? That's yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. Goats Trading Cards, I'll look onto that. Yeah. He has everything. Yeah, and yeah. So me and him would message, and I'd be like, oh, I just got this. He's like, I've got to make it. Fuck. And then like, <laughs> so I was like picking up my game, and then I, yeah. I, I sort of diverted. So he away. would give you hints on like, if you, if you see. Well, yeah. Well, he was like, really. bro, he was like, I got given the hot tip on a baseball card. He's like, um, what's his name? There's a guy in America who does like pimp jewelry for rappers and shit. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he did a collaboration with Tops. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so like he would re-release like a Derek Jeter card or like an old baseball player card with like bling photoshopped on them and all this sort of uh, stuff. Okay. And they're like, you buy them for like 50 US and then they're sellable for possibly two grand. Because they're even more limited edition once he puts the final yeah. touches on it or whatever. So they're, so. All, they're all pimp and they've got his little signature on them or whatever. So, oh, so it's kind of like the off-white shit in it. You know, pretty, pretty much, you put yeah, the fucking tag on it, shit, and then all, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all, this, yeah. That whole thing sort of opened. Well, up. were you selling a lot to Australia? We're selling a lot to Asia, America. Where was it? Well, I've I've sold a little bit in Oz, and then I've kept. I've just I'm pretty much playing the holding game. I'm just uh, yeah. like I, I don't want to get rid of anything that is gonna like it's like with your stocks and shit. You just oh just, no, definitely. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just I just want to wait. Well, like, the retired players that are, like. When they die, it's going to be worth well, more anyway, when, you know what I mean? When Jordan so, dies, it'll be yeah. like that. So, from the look of his eyes on the last day. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It could be a couple, it's, of, it could be in a couple yeah. of moments. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just, just died. On yeah. Uh, um, that's, yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's fucking... Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's crazy, that, though. Yeah. Like, his eyes were like... It's, just like, like, it's not weed, because I smoke a lot of weed. No, like, no. it never goes, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> it is. It's dealers telling them it's weed, it's not. Like, you look at him... And you're like, it sort of detracts from whatever he's talking about because you're looking at him and you're like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's going on? And then he's yeah. drinking hard liquor as well. And he's got a cigar always out on the... They're think, like, you yeah. can smoke, but just put it out yeah, when we yeah, talk yeah, to you yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the compromise that they... I love how so. they've turned all that into a meme. So whenever, like, someone, like, you know, the him reacting to the iPad, like, yeah, 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 laughing, yeah. whenever, like, who was it from the Pistons? Uh, Oh, uh, the Josh Jackson when um, when Zach Levine called him a bomb or something. No, no, no. The from the Pistons back in the day. Uh, you can see his oh, face. Isaiah Thomas. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. had the beef and Isaiah said, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Oh, actually, didn't go the line." George just pissing himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think someone sent me a meme when it was like Jordan doing it, and there was a picture of me doing stand up on the screen. I was like, oh, that's sick. I was like, yeah. It's good, that's the reaction you want. That's there, right? Yeah, for Do sure. that for my shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get the cry of Jordan <laughs> face. Yeah, that yeah, famous yeah. one. <laughs> Uh, you said that you met a Bliss Nesso and all that. I guess you've met. Have you met any sports? For I was thinking like about that. that. Um, 
I'm I, assuming you met a bunch of rappers and a bunch of rappers that I wouldn't know that people would know, I guess. Yeah, but. I've met I've met a lot of um, like basketballers in terms of well, my my cousin. This is a fun fact. My cousin on my dad's side was the captain of the Boomers. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. What the Matthew fuck? Nielsen. Yeah. Matthew Nielsen. I've heard that yeah, name. So yeah, he, yeah. He he now I think is like an assistant coach. He doesn't even know we're cousins, but yeah, yeah. Are. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he is now like an assistant coach, I think, to the Wildcats. Oh, that's sick. Um, but I've met like, you know, back in the day, like Ricky Grace, you know that name? Like, no. he was like Wildcats legend. Like, ah, okay. Black American dude who yeah. like, came over and like killed it. Yeah, like, Jamal yeah. Crawford and stuff. Jamal Crawford? Yeah, no, there was, there was a... Oh, so that's a Jamal yeah, Crawford, yeah, oh, okay. Um, this is one of the best Crawfords that I heard the other day. There's a there's a guy, a metal football player in, in, in high school. His, his mum named him the coldest. First name, the coldest, and middle name to ever do it, and then his last name's Crawford. The coldest to ever do it. He has to be a famous athlete, otherwise, or imagine like, him working at Starbucks or whatever. Maybe like a, a gigolo or something. Yeah, <laughs> like worst case. Like, yeah, a or, or like start like a cocktail business that's like slushies or something. Yeah. The coldest to ever do it. The slush mummy's the coldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's uh, it. Yeah, but um. I was trying to think, I was like, I swear to God, I do know some famous sports people. Who's that guy in the, I was watching a bit of something, the NBL Wildcat legend, Tiny Pinder. Do right. you know about him? Somebody told me about him. Squirrely told me about it. Yeah, Squirrely told me about it. Yes. I know. I'm like, no, don't talk to, don't talk to Squirrely about basketball no, because no. you're going to get me too. No, 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 no legit. I, I was, um, I was counting. I said, have you watched the game the other day? He said, have you seen this guy in the <laughs> breakfast? I said, what? So I was catching up with him the night just before COVID shut everything down and yeah. he just played a set at the shoe bar I think yeah. and we'd gone and seen him and then he's like going on about so I did a I, I tried to read the room last night and I at the lounge that's what he told me about yeah because there's wild cat fans in the front yeah and he goes oh do you know Tiny Pinder and then everyone said no and I was like oh, and then he had to explain why he, he said like, it why it's funny right. well I said it but it was funny because he did a rip and I was like you didn't say that did you you just move on so yeah, he came here. He was apparently, I mean, I mean, apparently he was the fucking Michael Jordan of Perth. Yeah, like he yeah, was a beast, no, killed him, I didn't, I didn't know about him. and he was just fucking what raping people a shitload the whole time or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I don't uh, know the full thing about the story, but Squirrely clearly does. And oh, clearly it's supposed to research. <laughs> <laughs> well, after that, of course I'm Google. I'm trying to find yeah, highlights. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, please let me see. Yeah, that's good. What? It's not gonna be him just raping. <laughs> So I think he's in jail now. In fact, I mean, oh, I'm, I'm sure he is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure he is. is. Uh, they yeah. don't let you out early for triple doubles. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I think I'm getting. But the Bliss and you reckon Bliss and Esso would do this pod? If you hooked up, hooked up with me. If you could get to Sydney. Well, I'm in Sydney. Yeah, right, yeah, next yeah. Tuesday, yeah. I know that they're doing. They're recording their album at the moment. So I yeah, know yeah. That they're very oh, not soon, but in the future, that'll be a good yeah. one to get. Actually, yeah, I'll yeah. have to listen to some of their music first, to be honest. <laughs> just, just in case they ask me about it. A question. Like, yeah, they done, done, done a song with my friend Frenchie though. Um, oh, Fre- Frenchie's on the, f- the music video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, he's not in it. He's in the music for, video. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was for. Because I was in, I was with Frenchie when he got the call from Listen Esso because we were playing FIFA. And it was positive. Uh, I was like, you stand on the phone? He's like, listen, that's so on. It's amazing like, oh, fuck, how many yeah. people know Frenchie. I, I have so many mates that live. Is he in the Goldie? No, no, he's in Sydney now, but he's from the Gong, isn't he? Okay. Wallagong, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of boys back in, in Sydney. Oh, but it, it, it's, it's management office, like Josh Wade and all that. Their setup is in the Gold Coast, yeah. Okay. He got a big, like, uh, warehouse there with the film and offices yeah, and all that stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Heckle yeah. Club, I think it's called, or whatever the fuck, which is a terrible name for a comedy because you're just encouraging them at that point. I don't know how you guys do that shit. I was like, I get people that will like, I've had I've had shows where I've been like, there's this place in Sydney, I think it's closed down now, it's called Valve Bar. Yeah. And you perform downstairs and there was, oh no, there was a tiny stage downstairs, like literally that. Yeah. Upstairs was your at the same level as the crowd. Which is uh, always just a weird vibe. That's weird. So like maybe like. And then if you're at the back, you fuck really. Oh well, yeah, you? yeah. If you're if you're short or something, but like yeah. I was like, if Tony Pinder's there, you fucked it. Oh, anyway, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I was literally in the middle of a set, and this guy is like comes up to me and he's like, uh, like talking to me From as the I'm ground? as I'm rapping, just walked forward, and then wanted to talk about the microphone, and I was like, I'm sorry, bro, I'm so busy. <laughs> And then like kept Look going. behind you bro No I was yeah. like Everyone's there Like good vibe and Yeah yeah and Like fuck me 
Um, what the fuck? I don't know where I was going with that, but oh yeah, well that's the, the hecklers. But oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. um that's the weirdest technical. Well, I mean, I know I get heckled a lot, but never like that. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's literally ever, just like having comment. a private conversation, just like yeah, what the fuck? And then they're like, like, can I? Are you cooked or are you just like, yeah, yeah? I just don't understand. You, so like, you, yeah, or, yeah, 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 exactly. Interesting, but yeah, that, on the spectrum that's a little fun. bit or whatever it yeah, might yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's crazy. You get some people they're just like yeah, no regard. But watching Squirrelly's gig the other night. There was like just this fucking group of drunk people in the back, and like he got to the point like he, because this chick started for him, she opened for him, and then everyone's like, "You're not the guy on the flyer. I thought we were seeing a guy." Uh, yeah, and yeah. then everyone was drunk, and then yeah, like yeah, so yeah. she's like, "I can't believe you just like assumed my gender. What what makes you think it was female?" Uh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah. yeah, but but it was funny because there's this one chick in the crowd. She's like, "Yeah, don't assume my gender." Like started clapping. <laughs> And then the guys in the back were shut up! Shut up! Before Swirly went on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then so he went Swirly's on. Swirly's in the back like, you just finished up. Yeah. Seriously, oh like, he God. went on and he, uh, yeah, he pushed Keeps through. Keeps Aussie as well. That's the show, yeah. But it was just uh, like, fuck up. Yeah, I'd get people kicked out of shows for less. Like, oh, like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, when well, we kicked out some fucking courtside Karens on, uh, on Saturday. Like, really? some old ladies filming us and all that shit. Yeah, crazy as well. Um, I've actually found a photo of the people at university. But for the people that watched the last episode, I've got to show you this video because we told the story last time. But this is this will put the. I mean, look how fucking look at this woman here. Tell me this is not a fucking a cat in here. Look at this. Yeah, nah. If you can see it there, look at that there. The full on. That's crazy. Um, so we could, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I love hecklers because you know me, I'm making up as a spot. Yeah. I'm like, if you want to heckle me, I'll destroy you for the next 30 minutes yeah, and I'm getting yeah. paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. You have to, that, I was listening to Joe Rogan podcast the other day and they were talking about it and they were saying like... Oh, you got four like, hours to kill. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing about a potty is you can you can play it while you're doing other shit. That's whereas, true, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but um, they were saying about with hecklers that like, it gets to a certain point where if you haven't addressed the heckler, the crowd start losing, losing respect for you because you're not actually like... Because sort of sometimes you want to be a tank and try and like just tank through and yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah. just shut up, but then sometimes yeah. you have to address it for there's, sure. There's yeah. little bits where they'll be talking and then you'll be like, oh, maybe they're just going to actually shut up for a sec. But then if they continue, like you're going to be like, fucking. Yeah, it's, well, you normally you shut them down and that normally ends it. Like yeah. the, the friends will be like, shut up, or yeah. like uh, someone behind them or whatever, like the crowd will turn on, they yeah. keep lighting them up. But sometimes if they're too drunk, then. Well, yeah, when they're, when they're back, and that's, like, that's yeah. what happened with Squirrely, the guys in the back. A couple of them shut up, but then there was a few that just like would not stop, and I was like, "Fuck me!" Like, kick yeah, me yeah. Out, like. But it's hard to kick somebody out when you're on stage if you have no other staff there as well. You know what I mean? Because then you yeah. kind of got to stop the show and get off. Obviously, or whatever, if it was like so a big, big, if it was like a big, big security would take. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that's funny, that guy. You imagine swearing. I thought that everybody sounded like him in Exmouth. You know, everybody sounds like me in Liverpool. You know what I mean? <laughs> Scousers. So I, I went there, and it's nobody sounds like him. Nah, he's he's uh, his own little magic monkey. That man. <laughs> he, um, I love him. I love him. Oh yeah. He, he hated rubbish. it because I cut it. I shut him down with comedians versus rappers as well. It wasn't. It clearly wasn't his night. Yeah. He was yeah, sort yeah. of like he was like, "Fuck, I sucked," and I was like, "No, you're a good bro." But he said like, he "No tried. comedian kills that show of rapping set." You know what I mean? Luke's, like we do Luke's well at the same. Oh, Luke is all right. So Luke, yeah, yeah. I feel like Luke is like an undercover rapper. Oh, okay. And he's just, no. I feel like he is. No, you know who's good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. Like There's he, no rappers <laughs> with tail on that show. What are you talking about? He is so unique. Trust me, it'll probably be a thing in a couple of years. Um, Mick, <laughs> Adventure Mick. Uh, oh yeah, Mick, Mickey D. I mean, we can put he, him anywhere. He's the best he's comedian in Australia. Good, yeah, yeah, he's sick. He, he actually. I don't want with him. I was the one yeah, with me. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I was just so impressed that he actually had like cadence because most like Luke will be like, "Hey everyone, it's been a great night. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully yeah. we don't get in a fight. Blah blah." blah. And yeah, Nick, yeah. Nick was like, "Yeah, exactly." I was like, "Fuck, all right then. Calm down." And I just do stupid shit. Yeah, Let's go. Squirrelly was like, every time I'm funny, he's like, stay in your fucking lane, mate. And I'm like, oh, that's so funny. And then I cut him because I like, he tried to interject while I was rapping. And then I just said like, um, shut up fucking Dave Hughes' son or something. And ah, was, that's so good. I've probably heard yeah. that before, but yeah. That's so good. Um, yeah, because Blunfield is my favourite freestyle rapper. Like, I had this people Ooh, until, yeah. until, until I done a show with you. And I was like, yo, you took the crowd. Blum, yeah, Blum, I love Blumfield, a fucking weapon. He oh, like, he's a weapon. He really like. He's a, he's kind of similar to you. He's a PT, PT yeah, rapper. Yeah yeah, 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 similar vibes. Yeah. Um, I'm just like I'm like him 
if he went to church on Sunday. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like the like the clean cut version of. Oh uh, yeah. Even sure. though even though he is actually like he loves his weed and whatever, but he's like pretty straighty. You know, oh yeah, I mean, apart from I'm the same only weed and alcohol. I think it's yeah. the same as well, yeah. really. You know what I mean? That's all you need, exactly. It's the <laughs> obviously in bed. Pair have tried the local culture, a bit of oh, bath and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you just put your eyes before. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah, well, the, oh, I'll take the this street. I'm wasting the money. Um, it's just, I'll piss myself <laughs> off. So I'm nervous. So yeah, bless you. So that's cool. You met a few of us. Have you got any ideas how I can meet LeBron? I actually do easily. Let's so e- easily, yeah, yeah, easily, yeah. easily. No, legit, legit. So through through Bliss, yeah, Bliss, no, like Bliss did a track with Nas and with the really kid. fucking hell. Yeah, they've done it. They've done. They're, they're the best rappers in Australia. No, like in terms Hilltop of Hoods, Hilltop Hoods and Bliss. Ah, okay, Listen, yeah. so they're like yeah, yeah. The well, Bliss and Nas have been around longer, eh? Nah, Hilltop have. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Down Downside from Perth have been around longer than Hilltop as well, but they just don't get the credit. Yeah, yeah. Well, from Perth, it's hard to break out. It been. is. It is. But um, yeah. So they've done songs with like. Dudes from the Wu Tang Clan have done songs with like Exhibit, Nas, um, a fair few dudes. Nas and all that would have LeBron on. Oh, for sure, yeah. So yeah, it's like, yeah. You know me, I know Bliss, Bliss knows Nas, yeah. Nas knows LeBron. Okay, so literally, when you hook me up to get Bliss on, no rush, but when they're free, you know what I mean? You finish recording that album. They're gonna fucking get on my album first. Then, then <laughs> literally, um, I talk to them, I bring it up during that, and then who yeah. knows? You'd be like, oh, I'll fucking. FaceTime Nas Dude, now for when, a laugh. When I, was, when I was uh, at the Enmore Theatre in Sydney, have you been there for some shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was there for the Nas Illmatic tour where he just played that whole album. And as soon as he started, like, it was just fucking weird. Like, and I, I think it was probably... Was Is that, that was his first album, wasn't it? That's his, that's, well, that's his, like, break... I think it's it was breakout his, album or whatever. I think it, it was mixtapes tapes and then his first album, mate. Eh? I'm pretty sure it was his first. Ruben, it's, it's the, was that his first yeah. album? Nas's? Well, Illmatic's the first, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure if it was the first that blew up or whether it was the first. I'm sure he might have done some minor shit. Maybe that. some mixtapes, but I feel the, like that was. So he literally just done his old album. For the he top. did the whole album stuff. That's what you fucking want because nobody mm-hmm. wants the and new it was shit. The of, you well, know what well, I mean? Everything on the Illmatic album is good, so yeah. it was just like it's all hits pretty much. That's sick. Um, he did it like yeah, track one to track twelve or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I ran to the bathroom to check a piss, walked in, Chris is there. I'm like, hey, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're just smoking weed with Nas, and I was like. At that point, I probably because he was backstage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I probably should have been. And at this point, me and Bliss were mates, but we weren't like I wasn't training him every day. We didn't hang out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sort of like, oh fuck. At that point, I probably should have been like, I love weed. Oh yeah, come yeah, yeah, weed exactly, as well. yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, yeah, exactly. It is what it is. And then you're holding your dick, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you shake <laughs> no, no, because yeah, yeah, awkward thing. You shake the wrong dick. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's it's so literally it's so so then he fucks off. You go back to your seat like a little. Yeah, I go back to my seat. <laughs> it was good, man. Like fuck, we had the best seats. Did the they outside. open for them or no? Nah, no, no. no, no. So it'd be he would have brought those, a guy, maybe or something. It would be a very rare thing for like a goat, like like Nas or something, to actually be tight. Like I'm sure, listen, so obviously well respected in Australia. They and they've got songs. I mean, it, it, would have had to like pay to obviously get on and da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know if they would even be. I, I doubt they would still talk. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you never know. You well, there's something there, exactly. Yeah. It's like Hilltop Hood's getting like Black Thought from the Roots on and whatever, so there's always yeah, like, yeah. There, there's connections. Like, Australia For has sure. got solid. Yeah, solid yeah. who knows? They might, they might fucking send, still send that. Nas uh, some lyrics every two years or whatever. Yeah, this reminded sure. me of you. What do you think of this or whatever? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Something like that. You know, um, yeah. Like, whatever it might be. Well, it's but, like, okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a dude who I did a track with on my album, on, on the album, Gabriel. Um, the, I think it's the first track, Bomb. It's got a guy called Grip from Atlanta. Yeah. And he's like best mates with like JID, who's obviously in Dreamfield with like JID. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, that's like, fuck. it's amazing. There's literally like two that's degrees of separation. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know someone who knows JID. The borders literally like, need to fucking open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, like we got to fucking travel. But time, to time is a wasting. Us, you know, early 90s boys are getting past that vintage with a Prime, a Prime, yeah, yeah exactly. Next year, 30 years, I don't know. So, yeah. But that's true. That's, that's quite Nanny's boys. Nanny's boys. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny's boys. Give me our rap gang. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say rap gang. That's the whitest rap thing I've ever said. Rap troop. Hey. <laughs> that's the whitest. Rap, rap, rap coupe. Rap um, duo. All right, so yeah, you got it. All right, well then, that's that's see. I'll, I'll keep on you with the Bliss and Esso shit. It's actually not yeah. It's, um, it's amazing. I see if I see if I can get him on there, or at least get it down to ball. Because he used to play at KGB at the Rocks, where I used to right, play. If, if we if we while I'm over next oh, week. Oh fuck yes! If we tee up, because I know Bliss and Dan, my mate, he, he was on 
home and away, they still play basketball together. We were on the team together. Oh, yeah. And I think they still play once a week or something. So if it works out, I think it might be a Friday. Well, if not, me and you will ball during the yeah, day or whatever. Yeah, but if yeah. we can get them down, you yeah, might as well text them. Sure. That'll be fucking sick. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then once I meet them then and I'm cooking them I'm like yeah I'm doing the podcast now what do you mean out of respect if I hit this one half court shot behind my back you give me a hundred thousand dollars and that's yeah, so, uh, and if I don't, then you know, well, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> then the pressure's off. You're doing all right, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got, you, you, that's my nickname now. You, yeah. can, you can have LeBron James in comedy. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Uh, yeah, the LeBron James in comedy in SO doesn't have the same. Oh, uh, yeah, no, nah, it does. Slightly different. You, you, you do too much. Um, one, one last question for yeah, you. Yeah, I've yeah. got to double check. I think that is my last question. I think it's top round. But, um, Oh, let me do that. If you were to think of that, that was just me telling. No, no, that's really good. What's your top five all-time five? We normally do all-time five starters, basketball players, but I yeah. you're a rapper, all-time. My five. my all-time five uh, for the basketball one is just like Michael Jordan in all positions. So yeah, yeah. Oh, this is Matt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's yeah, coaching yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 Muggsy Bogues, Michael Jordan, four more times. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for for rappers, I have a different list than most people. Most people are like Biggie, Tupac. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> So Black Thought from the Roots would be probably my number one rapper. Okay, I don't know much about him, but I mean, I love the Roots. Obviously, you know, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, everyone knows him now. Is like, oh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, man. of course. Like, yeah. Like, fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would Quite say, well. yeah, and because I grew up as a drummer as well, so it's yeah, just, yeah, like, that's it's double whammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite drummer, favorite rapper in the same group. Um, J Cole. I oh, fucked with that. Kendrick. Yeah. Mac Miller. R.I.P. Uh, fucking legend. Yeah, legit. Same, same. I legend. mean, more than he just banged Ari Grande Grande for so long, and he looked like how he looked. Like that's more it's impressive. Hope, it's hope than... for most men. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just. He just represents hope for most people. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Man, there's so there's so many, but at the moment, it, it obviously changes. Like next you week, you got one more. What's your fifth? My fifth would be Azaira Rashad, who's on the TDE roster with Kendrick. Oh, okay, he's, all right. Yeah, and player. I'll give you a six man. Sixth. Wasn't prepared for a sixth. Wasn't prepared for a sixth. Myself. Yourself. I like Believe that. I like that. Believe in myself. You didn't put your start. You didn't put your start. Some of the star. I said humble. Yeah. Nah, Sit down. Be humble. Give myself. As Who said that? Yeah. Sit down. Be humble. Quest love. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Quest love. It was Eminem, I believe, and Doctor Smith. Yeah. All those rap boys. Um. All right. Last question. This is the last question now. Yeah. Um. LeBron or Michael? Who's your goat? You know the answer for me. MJ, we've had we've had yeah, very, we've had this, yeah. very but I you about change your mind. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe, like, yeah. For, for I me, honestly believe that we can't have this discussion until LeBron retires. So yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. LeBron is on a technical. Le, Le, LeBron is the best current playing basketballer alive. Of course, in, yeah. In my opinion, yeah, yeah. Um, Jordan is the best that has retired, in my opinion. Yeah. And then obviously the nostalgia factor weighs in as well. Yeah, yeah, growing yeah. Up and like that's what you rep and like longevity. Like, you got to play that into yeah, account. You can't yeah, just say yeah. rings because Bill there's, Russell. This thing, play that like, if there, I'm being yeah. honest, because I I don't have like actually give that much of a fuck when it comes to like if I'm gonna I'm not gonna like knife someone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Over, over like who I back in sports or whatever, but at the same time I'm like. LeBron has done super well for what he's done. Jordan has done well considering he's like a little bit shorter. And then apparently he's actually 6'4". There's a whole room. Ah, he's he's six, not actually 6'6". Six, six, six. Yeah, yeah I know. Six, six. They reckon that someone... I think it was... Um, well, the Ryan's not 6'9", either. So it's yeah, a 7'4". Yeah, just add a bit for... Yeah. yeah. Or take it off. Big size or whatever. Just, yeah. And then also two pairs of socks. Yeah. <laughs> the big soles, yeah. the Jordan soles. Big shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Air Forces with a heel on them like these. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're a tall man. But yeah, sure. no, I, mate, I'm, I'm happy to just compromise and be like, LeBron is best current, Jordan is best retired. And, and obviously we don't, obviously there's dudes that pull bigger numbers than him, like Kareem and stuff, Yeah, yeah. we went around to see that. Yeah, so exactly, and, that's and it. Moves. And then plus Kareem was playing it when he's at the box. I mean, people, yeah. he was playing up with people that had part-time jobs. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like a Jewish semi, guy on the butcher. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Ali, what is, what is it? Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, we're going to call a foul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 He's, he's above the hoop yeah. and he's placed the ball in a downwards motion. <laughs> That's so funny. That he's like, yeah. travel, it's like, yeah. foul, travel, it's like, but he didn't touch anybody, he was in the air. It's like, people can't just be jumping through the air yeah. like that. What is this, volleyball? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll take, all right, that's a good compromise, I'll take that, that's, that's nice. You got uh, 10 seconds to plug, whatever you want to do, tell me on Instagram, all that shit. Usually when people give me 10 seconds to plug, it's a really different thing. <laughs> yeah. um, at Johnny P, everywhere. Google me, I'm there. Two E's, even on Instagram, isn't it? Yeah, J-O-H-N-I-E-P-E-E. You just dropped a new track? 
dropping one tonight. So What's fingers crossed. It's called Dusty. It's featuring my mate Joey Maker over in Sydney. We've okay. Been banging out a heap of heap tracks together. Yeah. Uh, across the country during COVID and whatever. All right. Um, and I think possibly I haven't checked my notifications, but I think it might be. Uh, being spun the hip hop show on Triple J tonight. So oh, that's fine. So that'll be good. That's sick. Um, um, can you end it with a little freestyle for us? You reckon? Do you need a beat or something? Uh, yeah, check, check something. What, 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 what do I need to do? What should Just I type in? Go like. Should like what's the beat or, or something? What's the difference instrumental? All right. It's a first time exclusive. Yeah. We'll uh, I had a kid basketball theme, uh, LeBron theme, whatever you want to do. We can do a minute instrumental. Yeah, easy. Six hours. Took <laughs> um, there's a kid, a kid at a school today who came up to me after I'd finished speaking and he was like, I thought he wanted a photo. And I was like, yeah, man, like, no worries. And he's like, no, 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 rap for me. And like, I was like, been rapping yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. And then he's like, I did like this full freestyle for him. And like, he filmed the whole thing, so I don't know whether it's going to be. Oh, uh, Jesus so, yeah. Christ. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick wants to say, Johnny P. He's going to walk onto the stage. <laughs> <sighs> I've never borrowed my rapper before, but how you do it? So. Yeah, alright. Sitting here on the LeBron James podcast, leaving fucking Johnny P the best for last. I'm gonna drip, drop a couple bars at the Universal Bar, and everybody knows that I'll be bringing it just fucking hard. Chilling here, yeah, the last resort. Me and you hanging out with our green shorts. It's not matching, but we didn't mean to do that. But that's alright, because I'll freestyle over the boom bap or fucking whatever you want. And my man's over there sitting on the chair. Lakers 24, Kobe's in the air. <laughs> and that crash sound happened. Oh! That's really bad, but I'ma just keep rapping. I'm just making all this shit. And the up. Oh, freestyling okay. off for the cuff. Kobe's looking down at me like, motherfucker, you up and I'm gonna shoot you in the face. And oh, that's real mean, Kobe. Don't do that to me, because we're just fucking homies. I don't know. I've got the Chicago Bull shirt. I'm doing this shit and rapping sort of visit. That was a sort of stretch, but I'm gonna do a sort of flex. It's Johnny P and nobody knows who's coming up next. Go rap now, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna go non stop until the beat drops, until my fucking knee pops. ACLs like Derek Rose, that's what I do. Johnny P, I be freestyling like, look at you, what you do. Instrumentals from the YouTube. Johnny P doing a fucking freestyle like two poos. Double deuce, so left. easy, I don't know what that means. Five seconds left, I'll freestyle until I'm out of breath. Blah! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! That was sick, yo. Um, <laughs> fucking, you heard it here. Johnny P, first freestyle rap on the I Wanna Meet LeBron James podcast. I'm Kyle Lacey, this is Johnny P. In a bit. Peace. Boys.